Welcome to BWB TV. I'm Cheryl Scott, Senior Technical Editor of Bioprocess International, and this is Tracy Kinjerski of Avid Bioservices, and we're just going to chat a little bit about the CDMO business. What's the current picture for biologic CDMOs uh, in terms of opportunities for companies like yours? One major factor to consider is that um, the biotherapeutic industry is actually, the pipeline is actually dominated by cell culture derived manufacturing processes. So we have to be aware of the types of molecules that are going to be coming our way. Um, we're also having to be concerned with you know, how many of those molecules are actually going to move forward to the later phase. So for example, you know, how do we prepare accurately for the demands for commercial manufacturing? And projections um, indicate that by the year 2020, um, the commercial manufacturing demand will jump to about three and a half million liters needed compared to two million liters in the year 2016. So those are just a few of the factors that we're considering. And when we think about commercial manufacturing, we're also thinking about how the trends in the molecules and the indications are changing. Because it used to be large scale um, st uh, stainless steel bioreactors yep. were needed to meet these. Air the time. processes are now <laughs> higher, tighter. Right. So they're requiring smaller um, batch sizes, mm -hmm. fewer batches that are needed. Yep. Uh, we're also looking at the trend toward an interest in manufacturing in dis fully disposable single use yep. technologies rather than being so heavily weighted on stainless steel um, needs as in the past. And not only that, but we're also seeing more indications that are trying to meet um, orphan indications and um, smaller pop patient populations. So we don't need as many batches and they don't need to be as large scale. Right. So as a CDMO, so for example, Avid, we are very much positioning ourselves to support the needs that I just mentioned, the growing um, industry, the need for experienced commercial manufacturing, which Avid is a, an experienced commercial manufacturing organization. And we've also built our most recent state-of-the-art facility to um, be a fully disposable, single-use, um, technology-focused um, facility. And within that facility, we've built in a lot of flexibility. So we offer our clients different platforms and many different scales. So we range from smaller scales going up to three by 2,000 liter bioreactors with the latest technology in our facility. And those are the kinds of things that all CMOs are really looking yeah. at today. Uh, there's so. a lot, right? There's a lot of competition in in biologics outsourcing too. Um, so how how do you sort of differentiate yourselves and make yourself stand out from the crowd? Yeah, that's a really good question. <laughs> so you know, one of the things we think about all the time is how do we differentiate? You know, we all have. 2,000 liter bioreactors. Right. We all have pretty nice facilities. Some of them are newer and, and more state of the art than others. Um, I think something that's really key right now that we are hearing a lot of is the need for capacity today. Mm -hmm. So available 2,000 liter capacity, which Avid has, and also room for expansion so that as that particular project and other projects grow down the road once they hit the market, they're commercialized in their market um, bound, that we can actually expand our facilities and be able to offer multiple 2,000 liter bioreactors. Yeah. So Avid has the 2,000 liter and we also have room for expansion. We have capacity now and we will have capacity in the future. But one other thing, key differentiator, I think that folks don't always mention or think about is the people mm -hmm. and the team. So Avid has 25 years of manufacturing and process development experience. And we're one of the few CDMOs that also have experience with our own product development pipeline. Oh. So most CDMOs focus just on you know, what are clients bringing to them yep. and trying to understand from that perspective where Avid actually has a perspective from an internal and going back many years of really understanding and having empathy for where the client is going and how they're feeling when you know, challenges come up yeah. and you know, they're looking at, wow, what do we do now and how do we solve this problem? Those so relationships are really important too. Um, yeah. Can you give us some examples maybe of some clients who, had, who chose Avid? Sure. So 
We have commercial products that go back to the year uh, 2005 where the, we were approved to manufacture for those clients. We actually started working with that client probably, I think it was two, maybe three years prior to the commercial launch. So we have had a very long standing relationship with that client mm -hmm. and we really value the time that we spend and what we've done over the years to help them be successful. Mm -hmm. And we're continually thinking internally, what can we do better? How do we help them going forward? Because they have multiple needs as well. So that relationship is very important to us. Um, if anybody's interested, we can talk more about the evolution of that. Mm -hmm. But that came to us, that project came to us more as a later phase project. And I'm really proud of our team and how they were able to take that project with the client to commercial right. approval very quickly. Um, another case study is um, another project that we recently were awarded about a year or so ago. And this one is more of an, an orphan indication or mm -hmm. ultra orphan indication. And the client needed us to focus on bringing their project in and moving very quickly on an accelerated timeline to get them to market. And we were one of the only CDMOs that said, okay, let's take a look at what information you have and how we can try and meet that timeline. If we see hiccups or, or other information that shows us we can't move as quickly, then we'll back up. Yep. Together we'll readjust and we'll look at how we can still support you to get your um, material to the trials and mm -hmm. then commercialized quickly. So again, it all comes down to working together collaboratively yep. and building those relationships. Uh, in this industry, biomanufacturing facilities, technologies, those are really major assets. Um, what can you tell us about yours? At Avid, we have two facilities. We have our legacy facility where both of our commercial products are made. They're actually both made at smaller scale and in stainless steel. Okay. And so we have maintained that facility, but at the end of 2016, recognizing the trends and what our clients and the patients ultimately will need from us, we brought online our state-of-the-art facility at the end of 2016. It was designed and built with input feedback from the FDA to ensure that it would meet the rigorous demands of making commercial supply. And so that facility is a fully disposable, single-use facility. And as I mentioned earlier, it can support or does support um, multiple single-use platforms and multiple scales. And we're also looking at um, what we can do what we can do to support our clients and their need for their CDMOs to be a little bit more on the cutting edge of technology, mm -hmm. try to help them to intensify their processes, reduce the time, cut the costs, that kind of thing. So that facility is, is well suited for us to incorporate additional technologies and help them with their, their needs and getting to the market Where are they faster. located? So our facilities are in Tustin, California, okay. in Orange County. So about a 40 minute drive from LAX airport or 10 minutes from uh, John Wayne airport. Okay. Thanks for being with us. And um, people plus technologies is pretty much the, the key. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks.